Let's break down a missile that's seriously worth your time. FATE-313 isn't just tech, it's strategy, speed, and sharp precision. In this video, I'm unpacking everything about it in plain talk. So if you're into real power stories, stick with me, all right? FATE-313 is a sharp, accurate, fast, fully Iranian missile system. It belongs to the short-range ballistic missile family we developed. Its range? Around 500 kilometers. That's serious reach, no joke. Powered by solid fuel, it's quick, nimble, and launch-ready always. It was officially unveiled in 2015 with the president watching. But behind the scenes, design started a year earlier quietly. It came from the legacy of Fateh 110, a proud ancestor. The mission? More range, better accuracy, faster prep, and launch. Iran needed a missile that's mobile, responsive, and deadly precise. One that launches quick, doesn't need massive prep or fuss. In regional tension zones, response speed really means everything now. Fateh 313 was built exactly with those fast demands in mind. It's slimmer than Fateh 110, but don't let that fool you. Its engine packs more punch, thanks to advanced fuel composites. It's about 8.8 .8 meters long with a sleek, narrow body, all designed for fast handling and easy transport in field. It's launched from mobile road-based trucks, so stealth is real. No fixed platform required, no heavy cranes or setups needed. That mobility means it hides better and fires from anywhere. It's a nightmare for enemy radars to track in time. Now the real charm, this missile hits exactly where you aim. In the Ain al-Assad strike, it hit precise U.S. buildings. It uses inertial guidance plus satellite input for top accuracy. We're talking meter-level precision, over 500 kilometers. That's scary. The magic starts with its solid composite fuel, high energy density. The body is built from lightweight composites like carbon fiber. So, less weight, more fuel ratio, better acceleration on launch. That means smarter flight paths, faster climbs, and better range, too. Its warhead, around 500 kilos of high explosive potential. Perfect for destroying bunkers, depots, radar posts, or base HQs. It can carry blast or fragmentation types depending on mission. Some say it detaches mid-flight making it harder to intercept. Remember that 2020 attack on U.S. troops in Iraq? This missile was part of that, hitting targets, not people. It proved to the world Iran's missiles are no joke. No warning shots, just pure pinpoint power when it's needed. Compared to Fateh 110, this one flies 200 kilometers further easily. Same size, but smarter engineering under the hood. That's innovation. Better fuel, better materials, more efficient design in every piece. That's how you make more range without adding bulk weight. And getting that kind of accuracy at long range? Tough. But Fateh 313 delivers it consistently. Misses aren't in the playbook. This isn't guesswork. It's engineered precision from launch to impact. Like a sniper rifle, but on ballistic steroids, basically. Guidance systems use inertial nav, likely aided by GPS, too. So it adjusts course mid-flight and keeps tracking the target. Toward the end, sensors may even fine-tune it visually. The result? It doesn't lose the target. It hunts it down. Solid fuel means you don't prep for hours. It's instant. Quick command, quick launch. Within minutes, it's airborne and climbing. That's a game-changer when every second can shape a battle. And for real-time battlefield dynamics, that's gold right there. It's not just for show. This missile is about deterrence. It tells adversaries, if you hit us, we hit back. And we won't miss either. That's the unsettling part for them. Making the cost of war too high, that's the point. Before hitting service, it went through lots of test fires, 
not just once or twice, several rounds to prove reliability. And guess what? It passed all of them without drama. This isn't lab theory, it's field-proven, practical weaponry at work. It's got a shiny body with small fins for control. Aerodynamics matter. It's like a dart slicing through thick air. The nose is sleek, shaped to handle Mach level speeds. Looks good, but hits hard. Style meets substance in one. People compare it to Russia's Iskander missile sometimes. Fair comparison, both are fast, accurate, with a 500 km range. But Fateh 313 is homegrown, not reverse engineered or imported tech. Similar punch, but proudly built by Iranian hands and brains. There's the American ATAX-2, a battlefield ballistic missile. Its range is 300 kilometers, less than what Fateh gives you. ATAX needs a big launcher system, MLRS-type setup. Fateh, fully mobile, that's flexibility, that's deployment speed. In regional terms, this missile shifts the entire balance. Gulf military bases, naval routes, all now within striking distance. That changes how adversaries plan, move, and respond nearby. It's like playing chess, but always holding your queen forward. Field use? Oh yeah. It can take out command bunkers, ammunition depots, radar centers, power stations, all fair game. And it can fire from behind mountains, desert, wherever hidden. Quick, quiet, lethal. That's a bad mix for any opponent. And it's also a tech platform that can evolve over time. Smarter navigation, maybe AI targeting, lighter warhead someday. The base is solid. It's made to be upgrade ready always. That's how long-term military planning stays ahead of the curve. And let's not forget it's fully made in Iran. Not bought, not begged, not cloned. It's truly our achievement. Every bolt and chip designed and tested here proudly. That makes this missile not just scary, but meaningful too. So, in short, it's precise, powerful, mobile, proudly made local. It works both for battlefield strikes and long-range deterrence doctrine. Compared to regional systems, it stands tall, no apologies needed. And this isn't the end. More advanced versions will surely follow. If you stuck around this far, huge thanks to you. Try to break it down simple just like we're chatting. If you enjoyed this, hit like or drop a comment. Until next time, stay sharp, stay safe, and keep learning.